four questions you get to ask them four cards are going to be down there you can pick them one two three or four and uh we'll see uh, what questions and what uh, answers you get i hope you like the video if you do like the video please do like it and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe it means an awful lot to me you can't imagine i wouldn't be begging you to subscribe if it wasn't important to me and uh, or, or for the survival of the channel actually and uh, thank you very much thank you so very much for watching Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it's for you. This is all about you today. So just take a deep breath, get yourself situated, uh, get comfortable in your chair, and understand that there's going to be four cards laid out. You can choose one, two, three, four, or all of them, or several of them, and uh, and get your question out there. Stop the tape if you need to. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual. Um, and then so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collin. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the west coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. And I put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different and uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Okay, so this is going to be a four card. Uh, uh, you ask the question, you pick one, two, three, four of these cards to decide um, you know, which of these cards is going to help you with this decision, this issue, whatever it is that you're grappling with. But first, let's take just a moment. Let's do that again. I like the way that laid out. Let's take just a moment. for a bit of meditation. That's it. I love that little poem by Consuela Newton, that little prayer. So, four cards. We'll get four of these out here so that you can make a choice. One, two, three and four. Okay. One, two, three, and four. So you can pick a card. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I always like to remind you, you can stop this tape and it's a good idea to stop, get yourself something to drink or just settle yourself, calm your mind, do a little mini uh, meditation to put your question right into the front of your uh, thoughts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, then I'll stack these over here while we address the number one. That was your choice. And this is uh, materialism. So this is the devil, actually. So uh, this is uh, telling us that we can be chained to materialism. And it's interesting in this card that we've got the swords, we've got the plan, we've got the cups, and we've got the pentacles all in here. And so this is uh, being chained to those uh, very materialistic of things and uh, not being in touch with your karmic uh, balance. Uh, this is a no card, okay? So this means that uh, before you do anything, you need to 
re-evaluate where you are. So just stop right now. Don't do anything. Uh, let's look at this. Uh, reevaluate your truth. Reevaluate your plans. Reevaluate your passion. And reevaluate your worth. Okay? Now, number two, if that's the card you chose, is going to be this nine of swords. And the nine of swords is typically just um, a nightmare. Okay, it's really uh, having lots of uh, issues, lots of truths, lots of rules, lots of justice that is uh, a heavy load to carry. You've got to find every which way to pack these things on you, and still there's something that you're not able to include. So uh, this is also a no card. So this tells you again, so there's uh, look at the rules, look at the truth, look at the uh, justice around what this is that you're dealing with before you take another step. Okay, before you take another step, really um, look at what you're doing. Interesting. So if you chose number three, oh, again, this is um, a no or a maybe. Uh, this is the Four of Cups. Cups are compassion and passion. And uh, the Four of Cups is kind of being offered something that, you know, this person doesn't necessarily want. They've acknowledged it. They're looking up at it. But it doesn't look like it's something that they're particularly interested in, although it's been some sort of a heavenly uh, gesture. So this is either a, a maybe or a no. And again, this card is telling us, take a beat before you do something. If you chose number four... Then uh, we've got the Three of Cups, and finally, we have a Yes card uh, with this Three of Cups, which are uh, celebrations. So this is telling us, uh, yeah, we can find uh, the joy in what we're doing, we can spread the uh, fruit of that joy around, and we can celebrate uh, this decision. So this is a Yes, and this is uh, uh, feel, feel very joyous about, joyous, joyous, joyous about making this uh, decision. Okay, so very interesting set of cards today. I'm going to turn these over while we deal with all of these one at a time. So the first card is this materialism, the devil, in other decks. So materialism, being chained to those material things that we all seem to be chained to, really. So so it's telling us, you know, don't be involved in devilish, um, you know, fr fr uh, frivolous uh, attachments. Let's get five more cards to finish this out. So we got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Put this here and see what is the challenge to this devilish attachment. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, seven of pentacles. Again, pentacles are value or worth. And this uh, seven of pentacles is us wondering, did we do enough? Have we, is there more to do? Should we harvest some more? Is this ready? Uh, so this is, uh, you know, in, 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 introspection, okay? So again, um, if if this devilish intention is, is obvious to you, then uh, the challenge to it is that it's time for introspection. So many times when we're involved in these very passionate, uh, you know, uh, tempting situations, we don't want to take the time to really think about it, but that's the challenge. The base of this reading, then, with this Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups is the greedy merchant. It's uh, uh, wishes fulfilled, okay? So this, um, uh, we came to this, apparently, out of some com very compassionate, passionate, um, uh, positive situation. They passed to this reading with this King of Wands, again, is being, in, the Wands are actions, plans, and the King is being in charge of those plans, uh, being ready to make a move uh, on those actions. So... Uh, in the sky of this with the Queen of Swords, okay, now this queen is wielding truth and justice and rules and law, okay? And so she's just a little less uh, effective than this king, but what she's carrying uh, is certainly uh, more valuable. He's carrying uh, the, the plans, the actions, and she's carrying the truth and the justice. A feminine persuasive power. And then the likely outcome of this is uh, this Queen of Cups, compassion. Could be some surprises, but yeah. So to talk about this again, so devilish intentions of being chained to, um, you know, lesser intentioned uh, situations around us is challenged by the Seven of Pentacles, wondering have we done enough? Let's take a minute and see if we have. Uh, well, it started out with an abundance of a passionate situation. Uh, the past of this was having a solid plan, but the sky of this is having a very persuasive king uh, queen, rather, uh, telling us, let's pay attention to this sword. And then the likely outcome, if we do follow all that, if we stop, if we follow that, is it will it will come to a decision uh, which involves um, a heavy dose of compassion with this Queen of Cups. 
interesting. So this is a cautionary tale. Now, if you chose the next card for your next question, number two, you're gonna see how this divines. And again, this is a no card, and this is the Nine of Swords, and this is typically, oh, I have to sneeze. This is typically uh, a nightmare, is how it's depicted in the traditional Rider way. Okay, let's get five more cards for this. We need one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we'll put these here to work on that energy and see what is the challenge to this no card, these nightmares. The challenge is the Knight of Swords. Again, the Knight is the uh, member of the Royal uh, Court that's going to take something and fight for the truth, fight for the justice, fight for the rules, fight for the law. Okay? So this no question is being challenged by the very thing that's such a heavy burden, the truth, the justice, the rules, and the law. The base of this with this chariot, is that things are wanting and had, 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 it seemed to need to be uh, off and running, okay? That's the impression that this gets. This needs to go. The uh, past, which makes it so hard to say no. The past of this, with this two of swords, is making that choice. And look, the choices are stuck, and they're not easy to make, okay? Somebody, there's a drum roll waiting for someone to make a decision which makes it so hard to not make a decision, which is what the advice is here. The sky of this, uh, with this high priestess, is understanding that you have the knowledge, you have what it takes to make this happen. You ha trust your intuition, is what the high priestess says. Uh, but don't, but challenge it, but trust it. And then the uh, final outcome of this then, if you follow that good advice, is the Eight of Pentacles, uh, which is the apprentice really polishing his worth, getting his value down pat and perfect. So yeah, if you take a beat, if you pay attention to the rules, the law, the justice, whatever it is, the truth, uh, understand that all this came in in a rush, there's a time for a decision to be made, and there's a reason why those swords are stuck right now. And it gives you time to understand your value, your power, your intuition, and once you've done that, then you can feel good about how this uh, uh, thing plays out. No is often the hardest, the hardest uh, decision to make. For some people, some people know is a uh, standby, uh, but uh, for lots of folks, it's a hard decision. Now, if you chose number three, then we've got the uh, Four of Cups, another no card. Maybe it could be maybe, but it's wanting, it's not particularly wanting to take this uh, offer. Okay, it's not particularly liking what uh, emotionally or compassionately uh, seems to be in front of us. Okay, but understand it's given from good intention with that angelic uh, offering. So five cards one, two, three, four, and five. Well, that sneeze didn't work out just a minute ago. Okay, so the challenge to not necessarily wanting to move forward is the Emperor. Look, the Emperor is in charge. He's the man with the plan and the will to make this thing happen. So sometimes having this uh, huge force uh, next to you uh, makes it difficult to, you know, take a pause for a moment. The base of this then, ah, with this, is this the Two of Cups? Yeah, with his Two of Cups. The Two of Cups are lovers, and uh, it's a, it's, yeah, the Two of Cups are lovers, and uh, so this uh, was some sort of a pairing. Um, it's, I won't say it's a weak pairing, but someone here uh, that's crowned is carrying a little more uh, weight in this decision than someone else. That could be why the hesitation. The past of this, then with this page of wands, wands are uh, actions, plans, moving forward. The page is bringing this idea. It's a message. It's, he's a messenger to the court with this plan or with this action. So it's a weak offering. It's not something that necessarily has to be uh, dealt with or made a decision on. And the king of wands, well, up in the sky, the king of wands is telling us, yeah, okay, I've got the plan, and this is how it's going to be. And then the final outcome uh, with this six of swords is moving out of troubled water. So the very fact could be that uh, when you uh, take a beat to really understand this, this, um, this, this being offered in good faith. Okay, this is being offered. You may not want it, but consider it. Uh, understand that it's your choice to make being the emperor. That uh, this comes to you from a place of compassion, of love. Although one person is a little bit uh, more empowered than the other, and then uh, this was a weak. 
um, uh, offering or plan, which may be why there was some hesitation, but understand that it has the potential to be a very strong plan. And then, um, and then once you've taken those steps, okay, to think your way through it, then that's what's going to carry you on across that bridge and out of uh, troubled water. Always consideration is always the best way to go when there's doubt rather than jumping forward, usually. Okay, so now we go to the last card, number four, if that's what you chose. And this was the only yes card in the group. And this is the Three of Cups. So these are celebrations. You know, this is happy times. This is emotional. This is compassionate. And this is good stuff. So I want these cards to understand that we've moved on to a yes card. And then we're talking about, we're talking about three, three, Three of Cups. Three of Cups. What kind of cards hmm, tell us about this? A little uh, fumble finger today. Five cards. One, two, three. Four and five. Okay, we're done with these cards for now. What is the challenge to that three of cups? Oh, tower moment. So this was a yes card, and it's being challenged by some sort of a definite shakeup. Okay, some sort of a um, uh, an uncomfortable, almost catastrophic situation, or maybe definitely catastrophic situation. But the the answer to this, the challenge, all of this is difficult. The answer is. Yes. Okay. The bottom of this reading, the base of it, is this page of swords. He's bringing a message of truth, justice, rules, law to the court to be considered, and he's carrying a substantial sword. The past of this reading, uh, with the fool, is a new journey. So whatever this calamity was, it's uh, it's it's resulted in, or it's uh, preceded by, perhaps even uh, a new journey. The uh, sky of this with this Knight of Wands. So this is understanding that we have to give value to the plan, to the action, to moving forward, just like this Knight would. And then the likely outcome with this King of Wands, I love it when the cards repeat, uh, is that, yeah, this can be a very strong um, decision, a plan, a forward motion. So don't be afraid of it. Uh, it seems challenging. Understand there's a message of hope here. Um, it was, it's a journey that it's inevitable that you have to make a, a, a move one way or the other. Uh, this knight is going to fight for the, the right of those plans, and look, it's going to work out in the end. So that's what we have for the four cards today. I hope those have been helpful to you. I love doing these readings for you. And there we go. Well, that was the four card uh, pull today. I hope that was useful to you. Uh, if it didn't uh, make sense to you, it's probably a good idea to contemplate on it for a little bit. Maybe come back and look at it again. Or it may uh, be for someone that's around you. Or it may not be uh, for you at all. And it's perfectly fine. Just set it aside. And uh, it was good to spend time. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.